Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Alexandra here, hope you're all well. Happy New Year's, um, I'm filming this on New Year's Eve. This is my New Year's look for the year. I'm doing a little bit of pink color pop in my eyeshadow today. I don't do a whole lot of color if you follow me on this channel, but I figured let's do something fun for New Year's Eve. I'm not really doing anything fun. I'm just gonna be like staying home, making a nice cheese board, having some wine with my boyfriend. Would like to have been doing something a little bit more, but that didn't happen this year and that's totally fine. Um, I'm just happy I get to be home and not working. I celebrate New Year's. I hope you have a happy and safe New Year's Eve and um, let's hope for the best in 2024. That's really all I gotta say. Uh, anyways, so today I'm gonna be doing my Project Pan finale for the year. Um, it's been a year for makeup. I've actually gotten through quite a few things um, I have a lot of videos to film for you in the next couple of weeks, uh, wrapping things up for the year. And then of course, like revving things up for next year. Um, I have to do all my inventories, which I dread doing every year. Um, I'm always hopeful that like, as my collection gets smaller, they'll be easier to do, but they don't ever really seem to get any easier to do. Um, just getting everything together and like putting everything in categories. It's a lot, it's a lot of work, but that's not what this video is. Um, we're doing the Project Pan finale. Like I said, um, spoiler, I have already, I think I reached my goal last update. I had already finished 10 items. So that was really great. I have one more empty for you for the end of the year, which is really awesome. Actually two more, I think. I lied, two more. So that's awesome. Uh, bringing my total up to 12, I think for the year. Uh, this year's theme for project, my project pan was favorites. I really just wanted to focus on things that I enjoyed using so they'd be easier to reach for and just get some things used up. That is the goal. Uh, I have decided what I'm gonna do for next year's project pan. I think I'm gonna film that video after this, the intro for that. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up in the next couple of days. Maybe I'll upload both videos tonight on New Year's Eve. I don't know, we'll see. So let's go through this year's last project pan video and see my progress and what I was able to finish. I'm gonna just start with the two empties just because. This is of no probably surprise. Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation. I cut it open. Um, it was pretty much almost used up at the end of the, the uh, or last update, I should say. And this took me a few months to go through pretty quickly because I've been wearing, like I said, a lot of makeup in the last five months. However, I thought I had like a week's worth of use left on this. For December, I thought it was going to be done like maybe the first week of December or something. Wrong. Uh, today is my last use of it. I really scraped everything out. I didn't wear a ton of makeup in November, but I didn't. So it was a slower month than the last four for sure. But anyways, this is finished. It is my last foundation or like base product. I put foundations and... Um, I put foundations and like moist tinted moisturizers always in the sound same category. So I just say base products, but this is my last one that I had in my inventory from like before this year, all my new base products that you're going to see in my inventory in the next month I have purchased this year. So that's really great. I don't have any lingering. They're all purchased within the last year. This one's done. This is actually a lip product. This is my Lip Sense in Sugar Plum. Uh, I don't know if you can see the lines. I started up here and then the next update or two updates was down to here because I didn't use it, I think, for one update. And then it's finished. So it might be hard to see, but you can probably see. I just wore it. This is the last use that I'm going to get for it. It was kind of thick and like I had to shake it every single application for top and bottom. So um, yeah, I'm calling it done. I know it's done. I'm really, really thrilled to get this used up. Um, I did use up, I think, four lipsticks this year, which is really awesome for me. Um, this was one of my favorites. It's cute. It's topped with like a gold glitter gloss today. Um, it's cute. I like the shade. I don't know if I want to repurchase it, but um, I'm really, really happy that I was able to use it up. The rest of my eight products here that we're going to talk about have honestly, some of them been in the project the entire freaking year and they're not used up or pan. So spoiler, um, let's get into those. This is my MAC paint pot. Um, I've had this for many years. I'm just trying to get it used up because it's had separated from the packaging. 
Um, it's in soft ochre, I should tell you that. And I wanted to hit pot pan on it jar. Um, there you go. I did like scrape down the sides this year. And then I started using my finger again and, you know, trying to work my way down. It's not, it's just not. So I love this product. It's a really, really great eye base product. Um, just takes forever to use up. And I wore this every single time I wore makeup and I probably wore eyeshadow if I had to guess maybe over a hundred times, maybe 150 times this year. I really, I don't know, no jar, that's that. I'm still loving it. I just don't want it to like expire on me. I am next year going to um, start marking things that are in my project pan and like marking how many uses I'm getting on them. Uh, just to see, I thought that'd be fun. But yeah, this one, no pan, no jar. I lied. I lied. I have another makeup empty here that I overlooked. Uh, so just disregard my order. This is the, the um, Chromium Liquid Eyeshadow by Natasha Denona. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Um, it's a liquid eyeshadow. I really, really like it. I've enjoyed it. Last update, it was like really drying out and I wasn't sure how many more uses I was going to get out of it. I think I got like two or three and I called it done because it's just so dried out. I didn't get any more of it out, but that's what I was able to do. Beautiful, beautiful product. Love it. Um, I won't repurchase this just because it's liquid eyeshadow. They go, they dry up so quickly. But this was so pretty and when it was like not drying out, it was stunning and I would get compliments on this all the time. So this was a winner, love it. So happy to get another makeup empty for my collection. This is another product, I'm pretty sure it's been in since day one. I could check my like paper, but I'm not going to because I'm too lazy, it's over there. So yeah, this is another Mary Kay product. This is my gel eyeliner in black or jet black, I forget what it's called. Wanted to hit jar on this. It's getting older, but it still performs beautifully. No jar. You can see all my like scrapings because I'm trying to use it evenly and not just like hole in the middle or tunnel in the middle. Um, it is starting to separate from the packaging, but it's still performing really well. So I'm gladly going to keep using it. This is my only eyeliner that I have and I'd like to keep it that way, but didn't didn't hit jar, didn't come close. If you use these every day, I swear you're probably gonna get like five years out of these. So good bang for your buck. This was a product I didn't think I was gonna hit jar on or use up or whatever. I just wanted to get use out of it. I put it in two updates ago in the project. This is my Danessa Myricks Beauty and it is the Chrome Flakes. This is the uh, Chrome Flakes in Strobe Light. I only use this, I'm not gonna lie, in the last two months, because I do my updates every two months, like three times. So there's not gonna be like a big change on this product. I am wearing it today um, like as an inner corner highlight. That's how I prefer to use it. That's why I bought this product, actually. Um, so I've gotten some use out of it. I got more out of it um, the previous update, because it's like Halloween and stuff. But I love this and I'm really enjoying it, so I'm not mad about that. Product I really wanted to use up, but then it kind of just came, came to the point of like, I'm only gonna be able to use up one more lipstick this year. I need to choose where I'm gonna focus. And that was the Sugar Plum Lip Sense that I used up. This is a mini, it's a um, liquid lipstick by Jeffree Star. Lots of windowing, but that's because it's dried out AF. And it is in Celebrity Skin. I love this shade. I've used up the full size of it before. Um, I really do like it, but again, it's just so dried out. You probably can't see. Disregard my broken nail because there's an injury on there. That's what that black dot is. Smashed it in the shower door. But yeah, like you can see the bottom kind of, but like that's because it's dried out and I am reviving it. I'm going to have to really focus on this in the next year because I 
would like to use it up because it's kind of probably halfway used up, but I just need to focus on it. Didn't get it used up, but that's okay. This is a shade from my Naked 2 palette um, from by Urban Decay. Looks super grody. Um, it's actually the shade that I've been using in my eyebrows. It's the last shade in this six pan palette. I'm trying to pan this palette, but I don't wanna wear this on my eyes and my eyeshadow every day. So like my eyebrows and my eyeshadow. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, oh, anyways, it kind of like is breaking and I just lost a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, you can just see, I'm just gonna do it this way for you guys. I'm gonna have to insert a photo to show you it. It's like, I'm gonna say like halfway used up. Um, like I said, I was using it as an eyeshadow lightly because it's a bit too dark for me. And I use it in my brows every day. It's a bit too dark for my brows, but it's fine. Um, I really wanna use this palette up in the next year. Um, but I'm not wearing like, I, if I'm gonna like be honest with you, I'm predicting, I'm not gonna be wearing a ton of makeup again. I don't know for how long. Um, maybe I'm gonna be wearing like a full face 10 times a month again. I don't know. So this guy, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Well, we'll see. I'm hoping I can get it used up next year. I've never gone through an entire palette in my life. I know this is like a smaller six pan palette, but like we're so close, we're so close. This is a full size perfume by Lush called Lord of Misrule. I knew that I wasn't gonna get this used up. I threw it into the um, project a couple of months ago or two updates ago. Again, just wanted to get some use on it. So it was essentially full when I rolled it in, first update and then now. Um, the first, or the, when I first rolled this in those two month block, I did get more use on it because I was wearing primi primarily this. I did do some traveling and I only had a carry on so I could not bring this. So I brought like something else that I was using. So I lost like two weeks worth of use on this guy. Um, and it shows, but not by much. I love this scent. It's really great. I get compliments on this when I wear this quite a bit. Um, I'd say it was successful. I mean, this is like four months worth of use. So, I mean, I'll take it. So, uh, I'd like to pan this in the next year. Uh, it probably won't be in a project, but I would like to just use it up. And finally, for the last update, for the last product, this is super disappointing. This is probably the most disappointing product uh, for the year in this project. The goal was to hit pan on a highlighter shade from my Morphe Hit the Lights 39L Hit the Lights palette. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, like there was another, there was another highlighter in this project, um, but I used it up within three months cause it was like super, super pan on it and I loved it. And um, so I didn't work this, I worked on this like for nine months out of the year, but it was in the project for the whole time. So let's see. It looks gross, but that's because I've used my finger to put it, apply it. So, and like, it doesn't pick up with a brush. So this shade right here, and it's like super, it's got a huge dip in it. I'll insert a photo for you guys. It's got a huge dip in it. And I feel like I should have hit pan on it. Um, just because it was in the project for nine months and that was like my go-to highlighter for those nine months. Really, I shouldn't say nine months, probably eight out of those nine months because this month, December, I haven't really been using it. I've been using other things for like holiday looks and stuff, but still nine freaking months and I didn't hit pan on it. So that was really disappointing. Um, I think it's it's gonna roll over, spoiler. This shade is gonna roll over into next year's project pan because I can't have just wasted eight months of my life on one highlighter and not have reached or hit pan. I just, I just can't, I don't accept it, don't accept it. That's a wrap. That's everything for my project pan for 2023. I would say it was successful. I think I used up 13 items if I counted correctly. If that's the wrong number, I'll just insert the correct number, but I definitely hit my 10, 
uh, product goal or more. That's always the goal is like 10 products because that's all that I can really hope for. Uh, that's how I've just been doing my project pan for the last couple of years. But uh, yeah, I feel good about that. And I'm going to do another project pan for this year. So stay tuned for that. I know if you guys do a yearly project pan, I love checking those out. If you've panned or used any of these products, you hate them, love them, let me know. Um, Happy New Year's again to everybody. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in 2024. Bye.